Greetings YouTube. Today I'd like to show off a Case Brothers folder. And this is this is kind of a strange hybrid beast. This came out um, just as one-handed opening knives became very popular. Uh, and it's it's weird because it's like a combination of a classic slip joint and a liner lock at the same time. And sometimes things don't work well when you try to combine them. Sometimes crossbreeds are actually less than their parents. And this is one of those cases. I mean, it's pretty. Look at the shine on this thing. That shield is just lovely. The, the bone jigging is lovely. But it's a weirdly thin clip. And you'll notice that the clip has a gap right there. I didn't do that. that that's pretty much how the clip came. Um, the centering is, eh, it's not bad. It's got dual thumb studge, which is nice. Um, it's very stiff. And it's got a very authoritative click. Um, there's got Case Brothers on the blade. And uh, it has uh, USA 61265LC SS, which I believe stands for stainless steel. It has a very, comes with a decent factory edge, you know, nothing to write home about, but very, very serviceable. The other side um, has Case Brothers Company um, right there stamped into the, into the blade. And the weird thing is, is it's a liner lock, okay? But it's got this huge spring. It's like they didn't understand that if you put a liner lock in here, you don't need the huge spring. And if you put the huge spring in, having the liner lock doesn't make sense. Because you, okay, fine, I do that. And I'm afraid to close that with one hand because it is so incredibly strong. It's essentially a one hand opening, two hand closing. It's it's a strange hybrid beast. It's pretty, um, I'm glad I own it. It's shiny and you can show it off. And you know, it's like, look at that, that shield is awesome. I just love that, the shield feels cool when you, when you do that. Um, but somebody didn't seem to quite grasp what they were trying to create. You want to create a one-hand opening knife, cool. Then you can't also have a monstrously strong spring. Now, um, it does have a, an interesting blade slate shape. Because look at that that switch. It's just huge. I've never, oh, I don't think I've ever seen a switch like this that starts that far back on a blade. You know, normally they're, they're up half or maybe, you know, sometimes even a third in. But nope, this thing's like three quarters of the way or slightly more. Uh, towards the towards the, the bolster here and it's it's very odd it just is it's a it's a strange combo it's kind of like the knife equivalent of a platypus um, but mirror finish very pretty it's a nice design overall is it, it has tried to combine two different things at the same time it was like two competing design teams one saying we have to make a slip joint folder and the other one saying no 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 we have to make a liner lock and Somewhere in between, they came up with this, and I'm really baffled as to why the heck they made those design decisions.